and UC Davis is making some changes to the beginning of its winter quarter. Although most cases will st classes rather will still be virtual through January because of a spike in COVID cases. As of today, some courses can now have students in person. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope spoke to students who have mixed reactions. This petition created by a UC Davis student today already has more than 500 signatures. These chemistry students want to delay a return to in-person instruction for their labs. They cite the surge in COVID cases, the shortage of appointments to get tested, and say they can't even get the lab coats they need. The frustration comes after recent changes to campus policy. Four days ago, the school announced we will continue with remote instruction and work through Friday, January 28th. But then yesterday, this letter went out to students saying some courses could be in person for the month of January starting today, including training for medical students, labs, field work, and other hands-on courses, to name a few. Compared to a lot of other people I know, I'm actually really happy we're back because it's really hard to do anatomy when you can't see things very well. Although Serena Chan is eager to be back in the lab, she gets why others aren't. I think the hard part is that they gave us such last minute notice and a lot of people, I understand the concern is that our bookstore isn't fully stocked and so they didn't get the resources they needed and they thought they had a month to get them. The student petition says student lab coats are out of stock. KCRA checked that out. I called the campus store today to ask about the availability of those lab coats. They said they don't have any in stock and because of shipping issues, they don't know when they will. I know we've had a lot of students coming in worried about because um, I know some some notebooks have been also running out and running low. This second year animal science major works at the bookstore and also has a bio lab herself. I am happy that labs are back just because I am kind of more of a hands on learner. So for me, that's like a benefit. Others think students should have a choice. If they want to go back to the lab, then they can do it. And I think maybe professors should like record the lab session. So I guess some students still didn't want to go back and they could just watch the video. Some who don't have labs say they want a sense of normalcy. Most of us want to be in person and it sucks we can't. With this change, the university is warning professors to prepare for more absences in their class this month, with more students having to isolate because of COVID. They're also asking instructors to prepare and make accommodations for those students. At UC Davis, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. KCRA 3 reached out to UC Davis about the change to virtual and in-person policies today, and part of spokesperson said, quote, we ask students to return to campus prior to January 3rd so that they could comply with our COVID testing requirements to remain on campus to limit the risk of virus transmission and to participate in in-person activities, including in some instances instruction. We will continue to monitor the rapidly evolving situation with the Omicron variant and make updates to our plans as needed.